uh, warm greetings, guys. As I continue to explain more about the gospel of water and the spirit with our theme that says, human beings are born sinners. I just hope you've been following my previous explanation concerning uh, what kind of people we are and how we were born as sinners from birth. So we are still on Mark chapter 7, verse 20 to 23. Our subtitle or headline for today says, God didn't redeem those with a bit of sin. God didn't redeem those with a bit of sin. Who is the one who deceives the Lord? It's a question. The one who asks for forgiveness of daily sins. God didn't redeem those with only a bit of sin. God does not even glance at those who say, God, I have this little bit of sin. The ones he looks at are those who say, God, I am a mass of sin. I am going to hell. Please save me. The complete sinners who say, God, I would be saved if only you saved me. I cannot play in repentance anymore because I will only sin again. Please save me. God saves those who depend on him completely. I tried dead prayers of repentance too. But prayers of repentance never free us from sin. God, please, take pity on me and save me from sin. The ones who play like this will be saved. They believe in the redemption of God, the baptism of Jesus by John the Baptist. They will be saved. God only delivers those who know themselves to be masses of sin, the spawn of sin. The ones who say, I have only committed this tiny sin, please forgive me for it, are still sinners, and God cannot save them. God only saves those who know themselves to be but complete masses of sin. Just like it says in Isaiah 59 verse 1 to 2. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, nor his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you from the face of God. Sorry? Have separated you from your God and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. Are you getting that scripture? So it tells us, because we are born a mass of sin, God cannot look upon us fondly. It is not because his hand is shortened or his ear is heavy that he cannot hear us asking for his forgiveness. God tells us, your iniquities have separated you from your God and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he cannot hear. Because we have so much sin in our hearts, we cannot enter heaven even if the doors are wide open. If we who are masses of sin asked for forgiveness every time we sinned, God would have, would have to repeatedly kill his son. God does not want uh, to do this. Therefore he says, do not come to me every day with your sins. I sent to you my son to redeem you from all your sins. All you have to do is to understand how he took away your sins and see if it is the truth. Then believe in the gospel of redemption to be saved. This is the utmost love I have for you, my creations. And this is how we must believe in the salvation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. My choice is clear. I will choose me again and again. Jehovah, I choose you. My heart is open. 